one click, you can have a full functioning, professional looking website. And I'm gonna show you how in a minute. My name is James Stafford. I'm the creator of Websites Made Easy. And in this video, my goal is for you to make a WordPress website step by step that is so simple and actually fun to do. And not only that, but something that's personal and unique to you. Now, if you're not familiar with WordPress, it is by far the most popular way to make a website in the world. It's used by Sony, GM, Best Buy, The New York Times, Katy Perry, Jay-Z, just to name a few. So you're in good company. Now we're gonna be doing this just using a couple of free tools that make it fully customizable so you can create anything you want. It's awesome. So check this out. All you do is choose the website you want to import in just about any market you can think of. And once you find it, then you just click import. After you do that, you can literally change anything. Think of it like playing with a simple Legos kit. You have various blocks or individual sections that you can put together like Legos, a contact section, feature section, footer, header, hero section, portfolio, pricing, services section, team, testimonials, video section. You get it. And you can customize all these sections and build it out however you want. It really just is tailored for your specific needs. I'll put it to you this way. If you can send an email, you can build your WordPress website. Just simple, step-by-step -step instructions, one step at a time, section by section. And what's killer is, is the site that we're gonna be creating, it's gonna look like you hired a web pro to build this bad boy for you. So I can't wait to show you. Now, over the years, we've helped lots of people all over the world, just like you, get started with their first website. And the team and I over at Websites Made Easy love doing this. And just real quickly, I wanna share with you one story of someone who started with his website a couple years back, and he said that it's just changed his life. So take a look. Hello there. My name is Chris Heider. I have a YouTube channel called Handy Dad TV that has over 100,000 subscribers. And in 2015, it wasn't doing all that well. But one of the things that I did was I created a, a really pretty popular project and made blueprints for it. But I needed a website to sell it. And one of the places that I found that was really easy to understand was Websites Made Easy. And so I watched their entire 2015 guide on how to create a website. I installed WordPress. I used HostGator hosting recommended by websites made easy. I got a free MailChimp account which I'm still using. I got List Builder and I installed WooCommerce and all of that other than the hosting fee everything was free thanks to James and websites made easy and I have sold thousands of those copies of those blueprints and it has it's been great and as you can see on the wall back there that's my badge of honor uh, when I reached 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. And part of that success is due to such a cool website and a blog that all my users and all my viewers can, can go to for additional information that's not contained in all the videos. So thank you, James, and the rest of the staff at Websites Made Easy for helping me and Handy Dad TV be successful. So let's get into it. This is the website that we're going to be creating today. And remember, this is all customizable and really easy to do. This is just one of many different sites that you can choose from. And if you learn how to do this the way I'm going to show you, then you can pick and choose and customize whatever kind of site you want to create. So just imagine for a minute as I take you on your website tour, what you will do to make your site personal and unique to you. So for the first section, we have this killer hero image that will really capture your audience with these layered effects in call to action. And what I love about this hero section, it's just really polished, as you'll see with this site. It's just very clean and professional. Next, we have another section to highlight a service of yours or something that's unique about you or your business. And this is a great way to really spotlight something unique about you to create a connection with your audience. And I love this section. We have a clean image carousel to showcase your portfolio of work or just pictures of yourself or things you enjoy. Then you have your services section, which I refer to as your roadmap or the journey that you're going to take people on as they get to know you or your business. Then we have another spotlight section here. And if there's a section you don't want, you just click and it disappears. Or you can move these around, like I said, and stack them like Legos. 
Next, we have this cool footer section with these awesome social share buttons. Check these out. And then we have this really cool About Us page with this video hero section and some other cool sections to highlight your goodies. And next, we have a streamlined clean contact us page. And lastly, I'll show you how to add a contact form so you can stay in touch with your visitors, how to create a cool logo and add that to your site. And if you'd like to add a blog at some point, I'll show you how to add that functionality to your site as well. I think you're really going to love your new site. I've taken the best elements of what's working now as inspiration for this site. And that completes the tour. So now there's only three steps to getting started with your website. And step one is your domain and website hosting. Step two is installing WordPress, and step three is creating your website. Now, as mentioned, we're going to be using WordPress, which is just a simple web building tool which will allow you to have your website up and running in less than the time it takes to make a drink a cup of coffee. It's the preferred platform of many big name brands who use it to propel their business forward because it's just super easy and intuitive to use. Okay, so to get your website live online, we need to get set up with your domain name and website hosting. Now, hosting is crucial to getting started online. It is no different to you moving into a new home and letting people know where your home is so when they search for you, they know exactly where to find you. Think of it like virtual real estate where all your website content will have a safe place to live. This is really the only money you'll spend in this tutorial, and it comes in under just 10 bucks a month, and depending on the package you choose, it gets cheaper. Okay, so the next step is to click the link in the description of this video. After you've clicked the link, you'll see that you can save up to 60% off your website hosting. Now, you should know that we do get a small affiliate commission for anybody that signs up. And we're going to save you money by getting you the lowest price possible. So it's really a win-win. You get the lowest price possible, and we get a small commission for you signing up. So it's great for everybody. And it helps support us to continue to make this content for you. Okay, so now for the domain, which is your website address. Go ahead and decide what you like, and then type that in here and choose between .com or whatever you'd like here. Then go ahead and enter a username and security pin and choose the billing cycle you'd like. Now I'm gonna go with the whole year as it's slightly cheaper this way. Next, enter in billing information here and make sure you use an email address you can access as HostGator will email you with your login details afterward. Next, you'll see it's added on extras here. You wanna uncheck these as you don't need them. And now you want to enter the coupon code here. So enter WordPress Hero to be sure to validate your savings. And you'll see the cost will go right down, saving you up to 60% off your entire hosting, depending on the hosting package you choose. Now, when you're happy with everything, click on Check Out Now, and you'll be the proud owner of your very own new website address. Okay, awesome. Now, you'll receive a couple of emails from HostGator with your login details and some links to different things. This is very important, so you want to find the cPanel link here and click on that. The cPanel is where you can install WordPress to your domain name and also do lots more stuff with your website. So log in using the username and password which you chose. And in case you can't remember, they're both in the email you just received. At first, this might look a bit overwhelming. It did for me when I first saw it. There's lots of different things you can do here, but all you need to do right now is find the software and services area. So scroll down and you'll see it here. Now you need to find the PHP selector and we wanna click that and then change the PHP software to the latest one. Currently the latest one is 7.0 as I'm creating this video. By default it comes set at 5.4. So we wanna be sure to update this. Now this will ensure your WordPress website is using the latest software. So make sure you update this. Now click back and in the same section software, find quick install and click on that and click on WordPress here. Okay, all you need to do now is fill in a few things such as the email address, the person who will be looking after your website. So if this is you, you can put in your email address, then your name or the name of the person as well. Now give your website a title, then your name and last name and click on install WordPress. Once you've installed WordPress, you'll get a success message that it's complete. Your username and password are here. You're gonna use these to log into your website. You'll also get an email with all of this in it as well. When you're ready, click on this link here, which will take you to the login or back end of your website so you can edit and start creating it. 
and you might get an error message saying that the page isn't available yet and you might have to wait until everything with your new website is set up. Then click the link again. Now this is completely normal. It just takes a little bit for your website to become live online. Now you should be able to click on that link again, enter your username and password to log into WordPress and you're in. You're now on your dashboard and you're the proud owner of an online website. Congratulations, well done for sticking with it. It's a huge achievement and this is where the real fun is about to begin. Okay, so now we're gonna start building out your website. Okay, so now we're gonna start building out your website. Now, this is the dashboard area. Think of it like the heart of your website where you can edit and change different things. Now, there's lots of different things going on here and we're gonna talk about these very soon. So don't let it scare you or make you feel overwhelmed. It's not daunting at all. It's actually super easy to work with WordPress and I'm gonna show you how in this little video. So first, what I want you to do is let's go ahead and X out all of these little notifications. Okay, cool, so let's take a peek at what your website looks like now. So head up here and then click on Visit Site. It's like a diamond in the rough. It doesn't look like much, but that's about to change. Just wait and see. So head back to your dashboard by clicking Dashboard here. Now you'll see it says that your site is displaying a coming soon page. We wanna go ahead and activate this so when we view our site, it's not showing a coming soon page with the actual website that we're creating. So go ahead and click on our click here and this will activate your website. Awesome. Okay, so now we're gonna really get the foundation of your website set up properly. So the first thing that we wanna do is go over to Pages and then Add New. So for this first one, go ahead and X out this notification right here and just title this one Home. And then go ahead and click Publish and then Publish again. Then head right up here where it says the plus and then click on Page just to add a new page. And title this one About, Publish, and then Publish again. Perfect. Same thing, head back up, Page. Name this one Contact. And Publish, and then Publish again. And then one more. Add page, and we'll name this one blog, just in case you want a blog. I'm gonna show you how to do it. And if you want a blog, you can always add it. So we'll publish and then publish again. Okay, perfect. Now you've got all your website pages created and you're ready to start customizing each one, which I can't wait to show you. We're gonna do that very soon. Now, let's very quickly go to settings over here to finish setting up the foundation of your website. So let's start on general. Now, what you wanna do is remove your site title and tagline and make sure you have a good email address here. And just so you know, you never wanna change this here. It'll stop your website from working properly. Now what you wanna do is go down and save at the bottom and then move on to reading. Okay, now you wanna head up here where it says your home page displays and you wanna select a static page and then for the home page, Select Home, and you're gonna see our pages that we created right here. And then for Post Page, this will be your blog. That's really the difference between Pages and Post. Pages are like your static pages, About Us page, Contact Us page, and Posts are typically used for your blog, just so you know the difference. And go ahead and Save Changes. Then head down here to Permalinks, and then click on this. So here you wanna go ahead and select Post Name, and this makes it much easier for the search engines like Google to find your website. So people searching for your business or your services will be able to find your website. So make sure you go ahead and save everything and you are set to jet. Okay, awesome. Now you have a strong foundation for your website and you're ready to start customizing this bad boy and making it very personal and unique to you. And the way I'm gonna teach you is killer. I mean, you can literally create anything you want within clicks. It's literally like playing with Legos. When I first started doing this about 10 years ago, you were stuck with a theme. You couldn't customize anything. Those days are gone, so I can't wait to show you. Okay, so now let's head up to Appearance and then click on Themes. So a theme is really the look and feel of your website, and there are thousands of different themes to work with, and some are great and some are not really so good. And that's why we've gone through and found the best one to use, which is called 
Ocean WP. Now this is going to work perfectly with the two free tools that we're going to use to create your website, which are Elementor and Envato Elements. So go ahead and head down here and click the plus. And then right here, we just want to search, type in Ocean WP. And there it is right there. And then go ahead and install. So let's get started with step one, which is choosing your domain name and getting set up with website hosting. So let's head over to HostGator.com. Now I use HostGator not only for myself, but also for all my websites made easy members because they're super reliable and they have awesome customer service. They know WordPress and are available 24 seven phone and chat support to deal with any issues or to answer any questions. Plus I've been using these guys going on 10 years now without any real problems. Okay, so what you wanna do now is click on get started in the middle of the page. Then select the Hatchling plan if you only want one website. But if you're planning on having multiple websites, then I would recommend going with the baby plan as this will give you unlimited domains. It's the only difference between the two. Now this is really the only money you'll spend in this tutorial and it comes under just 10 bucks a month. It really is a small investment to get started with your website and have your business live online. Now you wanna register a new domain name. Now hopefully you've really thought about this and picked a good domain name. If the name you want is not available, keep drilling down and use different URL extensions such as .com, .net, .org, etc. Or even playing around with the actual name. Then go ahead and enter a username and security pin and choose the billing cycle you'd like. Now I'm gonna go with the whole year as it's slightly cheaper this way. Next, enter in billing information here and make sure you use an email address you can access as HostGator will email you with your login details afterward. Next, you'll see it's added on extras here. You wanna uncheck these as you don't need them. And now you want to enter the coupon code here. So enter WordPress Hero to be sure to validate your savings and you'll see the cost will go right down, saving you up to 60% off your entire hosting depending on the hosting package you choose. If you decide to go with a year or more, it will unlock a free domain, which is cool. Now, you should know that we do get a small affiliate commission for anybody that signs up. And we're gonna save you money by getting you the lowest price possible. So it really is a win-win. You get the lowest price possible and we get a small commission for you signing up. So it's great for everybody. And it helps support us to continue to make this content for you. Now, when you're happy with everything, click on check out now and you'll be the proud owner of your very own new website address. Okay, awesome. Now you'll receive a couple of emails from HostGator with your login details and some links to different things. This is very important, so you want to find the cPanel link here and click on that. The cPanel is where you can install WordPress to your domain name and also do lots more stuff with your website. So log in using the username and password which you chose. And in case you can't remember, they're both in the email you just received. Okay, awesome, you should be in the C panel, and at first this might look a bit overwhelming. We're just gonna do two things here, it's real simple. Scroll down, and the first thing we're gonna do is ensure we're using the latest software to run our WordPress website. So click on right here where it says software, you wanna go to Multi PHP Manager. Go ahead and click this. And at the time of this recording, it's set at 7.0. It might be lower for you just raise it to the highest one. So right now it's 7.4 or 7.4, and you wanna select your domain and then click apply. That's all you gotta do. So now we have the latest software installed. Head back, and then right here under popular links, you wanna click on WordPress installer. And this is how we're gonna install WordPress. It's real simple. So all you're gonna do is click on install now and right here, you wanna make sure you select your domain name. I have several here, you're probably just gonna have one. So pick the one you just purchased. We have the latest software right here for the WordPress install, so WordPress 5.5. And then put in a good you know, site title here. And you can always edit this later. So I'll just type in create your... And then for your site description, you can update this if you want. I'm gonna leave that for now, just for this example. And then your admin account. Now this is how you're gonna log in to your WordPress website. So you wanna select a good username and a good password. So I'm gonna go ahead and update this real quick. Perfect. 
And make sure you have a good email address here. If you ever need to reset your password, this is where it will go. So make sure that's a good email address and you are good to go. So then head down here and make sure you note your username and password so you can log into the back end of your WordPress website. Okay, so just this stuff right here. Whatever you chose, just write that down or put it in a Word doc, whatever. So click install and you're about to be the proud owner of a new website. So once this installs, we're gonna log into the back end of WordPress so we can start editing the site. Okay, perfect. So now all you're gonna do is this link right here will lead you, it says wp-admin, to the back end of your WordPress website. So go ahead and click this. And you might get an error message saying that the page isn't available yet. And you might have to wait until everything with your new website is set up. Then click the link again. Now this is completely normal. It just takes a little bit for your website to become live online. And also you might have to set up the name servers for your new website. So don't worry about this, it's super easy. All you need to do is head over to HostGator again, and once you're there, click on the customer portal. Now log in using the username and password, which you'll find in the email HostGator sent you. Now you wanna click on domains, and click on your domain, and find name servers. And then click on change. Then click on automatically point to my domain, to my hosting account. Then save, and you are all done. Now, you should be able to click on that link again, enter your username and password to log into WordPress, and you're in. Okay, awesome, you should now be in your WordPress dashboard, and you are now the proud owner of an online website. So congratulations, well done for sticking with it, it's a huge achievement, and this is where the real fun is about to begin. And this is the WordPress dashboard, and think of it like the heart of your website, where you can edit and change different things. Now, there's lots of different things going on in here, and we're gonna talk about these very soon, so don't let it scare you or make you feel overwhelmed. It's not daunting at all. It's actually super easy to work with WordPress. And I'm gonna show you how in this video. So the first thing I want you to do is just go ahead and X out any of these notifications, and if yours does look a little bit different than mine, you have some more notifications, that's okay, just X them all out for now. Okay, awesome, so let's go ahead and take a peek and see what your website looks like right now. So head up here to the left and see the little home, right click on that and open it up in a new tab. Now as you can see, it's really plain, there's not a lot going on, but that's gonna change and then activate. So you've just changed your entire website. It's still a blank canvas for you to make as you'd like and that's what we're gonna do right now. Now I'm gonna guide you through this with a very unique and personal website so you can model that. And I'm gonna include all the images and everything so you can get it done faster than ever before. So go ahead and click the link in the description below or you can find it at websitesmadeeasy.tv forward slash blog forward slash begin dash your dash website. So now we need to start adding some plugins to change the functionality of the website so we can customize it just how we like. So let's head over here to plugins right here and then add new. Now if you're wondering what a plugin is, it's just a little tool which enhances your website. It adds functionality. And plugins can be amazing. It can really boost your website. And the plugins that we're gonna be using are called Elementor and then Vato Elements and a couple of others. So let's go ahead and search for, right here, Elementor. And it's right here. So, and look at these reviews, just amazing. Install, and then activate. And it should take you to this page right here, and this is just getting started with Elementor. We're gonna come back to this, so let's go ahead and just close this out. And then we'll head back to plugins, and then we want to add another plugin. So click on Add New, and then search over here for Envato, Envato Elements. Install now, and then activate. Okay, cool. And then right here, you should see a notification. This theme recommends the following plugin. Ocean Extra. Now this works alongside the theme, Ocean WP. So let's go ahead and just install this one. Install. Now head back down to Plugins and then Installed Plugins. 
And let's go ahead and deactivate some of the ones we're not going to be using. So we can deactivate this, 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 this. We'll go ahead and select those and then just deactivate and apply. This way it just kind of improves the optimization of your website and make sure that nothing is being bogged down or slowed down. So we're only using the plugins that we need. Okay, awesome. I can't wait to show you this. So check this out. Let's head back over here to Elements. This is one of the plugins in Vato Elements that we just installed. Go ahead and agree to this and continue. Check this out. 85 free template kits, over 1,500 individual page templates. These are full websites. Look at all these different niches, our markets, you know, clothing, Mexican restaurant, recipe, surf, digital products, interior design, marketing business, online tutorials. I mean, they have everything. It's so amazing. And if you click on one of these, let's, I mean, look at this. It's incredible. And what I really love about Envato Elements is that they're just so polished and refined. There's other plugins that do something similar to this, but they're just flat. You're just not going to get this kind of professionalism with any other plugin that I've found. I mean, when you see this website finish that we're going to be creating, you're going to think you spent thousands of dollars on it. I mean, it is so, the level of detail and refinement is, it's awesome. And as you can see here, you can create any page here. You can import this one, you know, try this one, try this one, or you can take bits and pieces from each one and make a truly unique one. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. And let me explain real quick. Elementor is the page builder. So if you didn't use a tool like Envato Elements, you would have to go in and create the page block by block, which there's a learning curve there. And this is just a faster and just more efficient, and I feel like a better way of doing it. Because uh, literally a designer created these, and all you have to do is just customize it to your liking. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that here soon. So I hope you can see the power in this. It's amazing what you can do. So let's head back here. So every one of these websites, all this really is is just a bunch of pictures and words with different fonts. That's it. And I'm going to show you the one here in a minute that we're going to be using. So you can create anything. It doesn't matter. You just pick one that you like the feel and functionality and add your images in. That's all you gotta do. And of course, if one of these templates is your industry, use that and just put in your content. So real quick, check this out. Say we wanna check this surf and ski. We'll click this. We want, let's say this homepage right here. All you do is import template and then we'll import that through Elementor right into our pages that we've created. And then you get this whole page created instantly within one click. Pretty awesome. All right, so let's head back to pages and then all pages. And then I want you to click on your home page, which is your front page, and then click on edit. And as you can see right here, it says edit with Elementor. And this is the main tool which makes creating websites so easy. Just drag and drop, just click to edit anything on the page and you'll soon see how great this is. Ultimately, you're taking a shortcut to success. Plus, these are still all completely customizable. So you can make something truly unique and personal to you. And that's my goal for this video is to create a website that is not a theme that can be completely customized to your liking. So before we get started using these tools, we need to ensure that our pages are set up properly so they will work with Elementor and Envato Elements. So we're going to do this for all the pages we set up except the blog page. Now, it's very important that you get this set up for each page. Otherwise, it's just not going to look right, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and start with the home page. And all you have to do, just follow along, head down here. And right here where it says header, go ahead and click on that. And then disable this. Then head down here to header style. And we want to select transparent. Then head down here to Title, click Disable. Then for Footer, we want to disable this and disable this. And then right over here for Page Attributes, select Elementor Full Width. Okay, I'm going to update it. And now we're going to do this for the rest of the pages. And remember, this needs to be set up properly for any page that we're going to be using Elementor with. 
So if you haven't, make sure you update your page and then you want to head back to all your pages. So now we're gonna finish the About page and the Contact Us page. So let's go ahead and click on About and then Edit and then head down, click on Header right here, Disable, head down to Header Style, Transparent, Elementor Full Width, Let's go down to Title, Disable, and then for Footer, Disable, Disable. We have this set of Elementor Full Width, so we're good there. And then Update, and then Head Back. And the same for the Contact Us page. So click on Edit, head down to Header, Disable, Title, Disable, oh whoops, I missed one on header. Header, we gotta go down to header style, and that's transparent. We got title disabled, and now we gotta go to footer, disable, disable, and then for the page attributes, elementor full width, and then update, okay. We'll head back to all pages, and we're not gonna make one for the blog. The blog is just for blog posts, that's it. So anytime you write a post, they will go into your blog role, like a traditional blog, that's it. So just in case you want a blog, you have the functionality to do so, that's why we created the blog page. Okay, so let's get started with the home page, adding these elements and bringing your new website to life. And it's so easy, I can't wait to show you how. So let's get going. Now go ahead and hover over home, and then click on edit. Now click on the button up top, edit with Elementor. Now this is your Elementor dashboard and where you'll see your website come to life with all the different beautiful elements on the left. Again, you've got a toolbar with lots of different elements that you can use such as headers, images, videos, and lots more. Now just before we jump in with Elementor, head up here and find Envato Elements. It's a little green circle right here. Here is where you're going to pick the look of your website starting out. And again, all of these are customizable, so anything you choose isn't set in stone. And you've got the freedom to choose what you want. It just makes it super quick and easy, and it looks amazing. And remember, I'm gonna be helping you through this every step of the way, so do not feel overwhelmed. Okay, so before we get started, let's take a peek at what we're gonna be creating. And this way, you can see the direction we're headed and how you can create anything that you want and you're really only limited by your imagination. I'm gonna show you a couple of cool places where you can also get images, which are royalty free. So you can basically download these for free and not have to worry about copyright stuff. So take a, take a look right here, unsplash.com. This is a, where I got all the images for this site. And you could just go to collections up here and they have all sorts of collections that you can choose from that are really cool. Just beautiful images for your, uh, for your website. So, and this one's really cool. And then there's also pexels.com, P-E-X-E-L-S.com. So really all you do is just search in, say like adventure, inspiration, landscape, anything. Pretty killer, right? Same with Unsplash. Use keywords and you can find some great stuff. So that's how I'm gonna be creating this site with these images, just unbelievable images that create a beautiful experience and you can do the same as well. Now let's head to the third page and we'll find what we're looking for. And it's called, it's right here, it's called Tattoo Studio. Now, before you think, wow, I don't want an all black website with tattoos, don't worry, that's far from what we're creating here. And you're about to see the power in this and how we're gonna transform this site very shortly into what I just showed you. We're gonna customize each one of these elements and make it very personal and unique to you. And that's actually why I chose this one because it's created this experience that feels very, very unique and personal to this business. Just clean and streamlined so your content will be very focal and there's just not a lot of busyness going on. And all we're gonna do is change out the images, change some colors, some animations, so it's gonna look completely different. And I can't wait to show you. And you will learn how to do all this yourself. And the best part is, it's super easy. 
So I'm going to go ahead and import home one and home two because I'm going to combine elements from both. So I'm going to go ahead and click on home one and then click import template. And this is going to import it right into the Elementor library, which you'll see here in a minute. Okay, perfect. So let's head back. And now I want to import home two. Okay, that's done. So let's go ahead and close this out for now. And now what we're going to do is click on this little file. And right here is the Elementor template library. And if you can see, if you look at some of these, I'm not going to go through them, they're just a lot flatter and just a little bit more plain than Envato. So anyway, there, that's there if you want to take a peek at those as well. So let's go to My Templates. And here they are right here. Okay, now check this out. So here is Tattoo. This is the first one we want to import. So all you have to do is click Insert. And yes, you want to import the settings. So click Yes. And this is going to import all the animations and anything that they've created specific to this home page. One click, you have an entire home page. Now tell me that isn't amazing. So cool. Now we're going to customize this home page. Like I said, change up the headings, the language, the images, animations. Just make it look really clean slick and professional. Now, I remember the first time I looked at this, I became very overwhelmed, and I don't want you to feel that way. So I'm going to show you how this works. It's super easy and explain to you how to customize each one so you fully understand how to use Elementor in a very user-friendly way. So let's head down here to the bottom left and click on the little icon that looks like a little block of Legos. Now, this is called the Navigator. Click it, and you will see it open up a little window with several sections. Now each one of these sections represents different elements of your home page. If you click one section, it will take you to that section. So let's click on the first section that will take us to the hero section of the home page. Now if you look to your left, that's your element or toolbar, and you have three columns. Layout is where you can edit the settings for each section. We're not going to do too much here because we're using the settings that came with this specific template. Uh, next is style, and this is where it gets really cool. It's where you can change images, you can add video, you can add gradients, you can change typography, you can change font colors, pretty much everything here. And you have advanced, and all we're going to do here is just edit some animations. That's about it. And as you can see, there's lots that you can do with Elementor, but that's why we're using these pre-made templates from Envato. You're not having to do tons of customizations. And all we really have to do is swap out some images, some text, add some animations, and change some colors. Okay, so now check this out. I'm going to show you, let's head up here to section one. So if you remember, click on the section to the section you want to edit. So let's head up to section one. And say, for example, I wanted to, well, first of all, let me show you this. There's these, you can't really see it, but there's six dots right here. And if you right click this, you can edit the section, you can duplicate it. You can copy, reset, save as template, which that's how we're going to, I'm gonna show you here in a second, how we're gonna bring another element from home page two and import it into this home page. You can click the navigator or you can delete. Say I wanna delete this, whoops. Say I accidentally did that or just made a mistake, whatever. Here you can head down here and click on this little time icon with it says history. Click that and there's revisions or actions. So it says background type edited or removed. Say I just wanted to go back one step. Pretty awesome, right? So if you make any mistakes or whatever, you can go back. Or then you have revisions and then you can go back even further, okay? Pretty awesome, right? So that's about it. And I'm going to show you, you're going to see we're going to get a little bit more granular as we go through each section to edit. And then you'll really uh, understand how this works. But it's very simple. So don't let all this stuff overwhelm you. It's really, really simple to get started with Elementor. Okay, so let's get your home page built. Let's go ahead and close out this. And we're going to start with adding a new element to this home page. I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So go ahead and head over here to these three lines and click this. 
and then click Exit to Dashboard. And now I want you to head to Elements and then Template Kits. And I just realized I wanted a different template or different home page than the one than home page two. So no big deal. I'll show you how to do this real quick. So it's so cool about this. You can pick anything you want. So I instead of wanting this hero image, I want this one. So I'm going to select this and then import template. This hero image is awesome. Just wait till you see what this looks like with what we're going to do with it. Okay, so that's imported to the library. So let's go ahead and go back. Back again. Templates and then save templates. Click on Tattoo Studio Home 4. And then we want to do click Edit with Elementor. Now just imagine what I'm going to do here. You can do this pick and choose from any of these not just Tattoo Studio, anything that you want, any of these other templates, and piece something together that's really cool. So we want to just save this hero section. So check this out. I right-click this and save as a template. So I'm just saving this section. Save it. There it is. We can close this out. Now we're going to head back just like we did before. Click on the three lines and then exit to Dashboard. Then we want to go back to Pages, All Pages, and then right here, Home, Front Page, Edit with Elementor. Now I'm going to add in the new section. So you can add it here. Let me just show you. You can add the sections anywhere, like Legos, right? You can just piece it together. So just click the plus, and then all you do is click on the file, and then we want to import My Templates, and this one right here. Oh, excuse me, Home Hero 4, this one. And you insert, and then do not bring in the settings because this will bring in the settings from the other template. So you just want to say no. Killer, right? So now you can either drag this up, which is kind of finicky, or I can say, okay, which section? Let me go to the navigator. And I, I like to do it this way better. And then you can click on the section. Okay, so it just populated that section right there, so I know which one that one and we want to drag this all the way up to the top. Cool, right? So then we want to get rid of this. Just exit out. <laughs> A completely new hero image. Okay, so now let's be sure to update our page to save all our changes. We're good to go. Okay, so let's go ahead and start editing this section. Now, let me show you something real quick. Let me go ahead and close out this navigator. And I want to show you why I really love this template and also this hero image right here. And there's a little arrow right here, and this will make it full screen. Now, check this out. How cool does this look? See this layering that's going on right here? It says tattoos in the background. Then you have this call to action right here. And then just another image back here. It looks just extremely clean and professional. I love this effect. It's really refined. So let's go ahead and click back on this arrow so we can start editing. And we want to change this main image in the background here. So what I'm going to do is click on the six dots and that ensures we're editing this section right here where the main image is, the main background, okay? We're going to click on style and here's the image. So I want to delete this image and then I want to click plus select files and then I'm going to head to my desktop and here is my folder with all the images and you can get this on the blog post too and everything's nice and organized we have all the hero images for the first page and everything all the content for the entire website so we're going to click on hero one two and three and then we want to I have two options for the hero image you can pick whatever you'd like I'm going to import this one and I'll show you the Here's hero one. Okay, so that imported, and I'm going to import hero two as well. So upload files. And you can pick which one you want. Both of them are amazing images. And I got both of these on Unsplash. Go with this one, check this out. It's just killer. Now that has an overlay on it. Now let me show you the overlay. See what it looks like? Now let's remove the overlay. And then head down here to background overlay. And it's at 0.7 and it's at black. So if we just move it all 
you change colors too, so you watch. And then opacity, we want to bring that all the way down to zero. Looking good. Just a beautiful image. And you can try this image as well. I'm going to go back with the blue one just for now. Now let's start editing the section. So different parts of the section. So if we click in different parts of the section, you can edit it. And you can always tell where you are by editing where the click the pencil is. Okay? So let's click in here. Now if you don't want this, you can just erase it. This text in the background will just go away. So I'm just type in create. I think that looks really cool. And then right here, the pencil, click the pencil. Just type in 10 years. Then click in here. Go to content. Looking good. Now if you want to make this bigger, let me show you. Go to style and then click on typography. And then you can just raise the size right here. And we'll leave it at 70. And you can change the font right here. And then the color as well, right here. So I'm going to head back. And in this little section right here, now remember, you can if you don't want these little sections, all you have to do is right-click it and you just delete it. And that's it. So if I delete it, it's gone. And say I want it back, remember? Just go to the history here at the bottom. And then go right there. It pops back in. So we click back into it. And now we can edit it. I'm just going to erase this. All right, just about done with this section. So now I want to change these colors of these, the call to action here. So I'm going to click this. And I'm just going to type in first. And then we want to click on style. Paste in that color. It's a nice orange. And you, you can use blue, you can use whatever you want. But if you want to copy this color, it'll be the color I have, this orange. It'll be in the downloads in the text editor. Next, click on hover. And then change this as well here. And for right here. Good, we're good to go. And I want to change this up here. Style. Yeah, looking good. Let's take a look at the page. Big difference, right? Cool, so we are done with this section. Now check this out. I'm gonna show you one thing that's really cool as well. Make sure we click on the six dots so we can edit this main background. And say we wanted to put in a video. Check this out. Any YouTube video. It's pretty awesome, right? Go ahead and change this back. Delete that. Save changes and update. See how versatile this is? You can do anything you want. Really, just you're limited by your imagination. Okay, so let's move on to the next section. So, this is just, you can put something kind of unique about you, maybe one of your product, highlight one of your products or services. Here, I, I like this little area, it's cool. So what we can do is just add an image and then some text right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the pencil and then delete this image. And we're literally gonna go through the same process. 
getting the hang of this, right? So click the uh, plus, we'll upload files, select files, go to our folder. So we want, this was hero one and hero one two. This is hero two for this area. Choose that. It's a real clean image. And by default, the theme sets it at black and white. Now let me show you how to change that, okay? So you would make sure you're clicked into the image, go to style, and then right here where it says CSS filters, click this pencil, and then you wanna bring saturation up to 100%. And then it'll bring it right into color. Perfect. Looks good. Okay, to save a little time, I just went ahead and filled these areas in. But remember, this area right here, you just put in something. I just put in one of our products, our WTC system, and just change this by clicking in there, and then it'll change this, and then, of course, down here. But look how slick this looks. And let me just change this color real quick. If you want to go bold and leave it gold, <laughs> go for it. So that's, there we go. And let's take a look. Wow, that looks really good. Wait till you see the little animations we're going to add. Okay, so now we're going to add in a carousel for your portfolio of pictures. So let's head down here. Let's update this. Now let's head down here. And for this carousel, all you have to do is click in here and all the images will pop up. And we're just gonna delete them all and add our images. So just click one of the images and delete them all. Select files, and then you can just go into carousel. I'm just gonna copy them all in there. Now you have a whole carousel full of your portfolio. Now you can put any kind of images in your stuff, maybe from the work that you've done with clients or you know stuff that's really unique to you that you're passionate about. You can do anything. Let's go ahead and insert gallery. And this moves too, you'll see it when we go live. Looking so good. Let's go ahead and update. Okay, so coming along, we're done with this section. Let's head down here to our next section. And this is real easy, I'm just gonna fill this in. This is what I like to refer to as your roadmap or area of transformation services, basically. The journey you're gonna take people on. So let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in. So click on the element you wanna edit. So studio, I'm gonna put, So I've gone ahead and filled in some of this content here, real simple. Just clicked in that box, added that. You know, you just basically click in the element you want to edit and add it your text. So I'm going to show you how to change these little icons. You just click in there and then the icon just go down. And this one was a gear I want for that right there. This one is bullseye. And for here, just rock it. Cool. Pretty simple. Now that area is done. We got to change the color here. Okay, cool. So we're done with that section. Now let's head to the next section. And this is kind of a cool area. You can highlight how you started your business or why you're starting your website or something unique about you. So, and also, you know, bear in mind that you can, you don't have to add all these sections, just whatever you like. Um, and now you're seeing how you can do all this. So you can just X things out that you don't want or add more things or, you know, literally like playing with Legos. It's, you know, you can pick whatever you want to do. So I'm going to show you real quick how to add this. Let's change this image real quick.
back in there and let's grab hero three. It's a really cool image. Click back at the image, go to style. We're gonna change this to color. So go down to CSS filters and click the pencil and bring the saturation up to 100%. Looks good. Copy this. Paste it right in. Looking good. And we'll grab this color real quick. Go to style. Copy the color. Style. Paste that in. Now the button. Let's change the text. I'm going to show you how to link this button to, to a form here later. Both the buttons. Okay, now we want to go to style, change the color. Now let's go to hover, same thing. Right here. So there's three of these that you want to change. There's the border, the hover, and the normal. And that's it. Looking good. Okay, so let's update and let's head down here to the footer. Same process here while I have the color, paste it in. And then for these, and I love these buttons. So style, paste this in. Looking good. And check this out. Check out these buttons, these animations. How cool is that? Now let's grab the footer image. So click on the six dots. Style. Delete this image. Head back to our folder and look for footer. Let's update. And also here, your social, let's go to content. And for these, you just click on them. You can arrange them and you just paste in your URLs for your social channels. It's real simple. And then once you paste your URL in, it'll link right to it from the buttons. And if you don't want one, you just exit out. Can you believe this was that tattoo website? Looks so good. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to polish it up a little bit, add some animations and a couple of other things. Okay, so let's head back, click the little red arrow. Now you gotta make sure you've clicked the six dots and that you're under style. And then right underneath the image where it says attachment, select fixed. Check this out. Pretty cool, right? The image stays in the background and everything else moves. Okay. Now let's go while we're editing this image, let's go down to uh, advanced and then motion effects. And then right here it says default, go to fade in and then do slow. Okay, and there's several effects that you can do here. I mean, there's just a lot. You can play with it. I think this is the cleanest, the fade in and slow. And the same here. Let's click on this element right here. Go to advanced. Motion effects. And this one, slide in down slow. Let's go ahead and update. Now let's head down here and same thing. 
Go ahead and click the six dots. Go to advanced, motion effects, fade in, slow. Advanced, motion effects, and this one's drop in, I believe, or slide in down. We'll do that slow. And the same thing for here. Advanced, motion effects, fade in, slow. Same thing here. Advanced, motion effects, fade in, slow. Advanced, Looking good. And this last one right here. Oh, we have two more. right here. That's it. We are done with the home page. Now let's update and I'll show you what it looks like live. And you can always preview too with this clicking this little eyeball. Then it'll open a new window or a new tab. See how clean that is? And as you scroll down, <laughs> okay, awesome. We're making some great progress and I hope you're seeing the power in this. And it's really pretty easy once you get the hang of it. And as you practice this, it will become easier as well. And now what we're gonna do is go and start the About Us page. So let's head back to the Elementor dashboard here. And what we want to do is just click on these three lines and then exit to dashboard. And then let's head to all pages, then head over here to about, and then go to edit, and then click edit with Elementor. Then we want to click on the green circle here, which is the Envato elements. Then it should be on page three and scroll down and it should be here. And we're looking for about. And there's this one, this one, and I also like this one, it's a services one, but you can use this for the about page as well. So let's just go back and I'll just use this one for now. And then import template. And we'll go ahead and close this out. Then we wanna click on the file here my templates, here it is right here. And then we just wanna insert it. And then you wanna click yes here. Okay, looking good. So we're gonna go through the same process, just edit this you know, section by section here. So let's click on these six dots up here. And you can access all the images, of course, that I have included in the content folder. So let's go ahead to click on style, and then just delete this. Upload files, select files, and let's go to main the, fo the main folder here. This image is awesome. And remember, all these are free to use on Unsplash. Passion let us here. Go ahead and insert that. So cool. And I'm going to change up this real quick. Just put over 10 years and 
change this. Let's keep it simple. Add a little quote here. And we want to add in a video here. So if you click that, it's pretty cool. Just pop in a YouTube video, pop it in there, and check that out. Self-hosted, you can, from other services. So your own video, Vimeo, cool. And we can close this, and then update, and let's preview the changes. So yeah, obviously you would want to use something about your business, or I guess you can put anything in there, but you know, something about your business would be preferable. Maybe even uh, you know, a customer testimonial or something. So let's head back. Okay, so let's head down to the next section. And I'm going to change this color here. I'm going to do a pass through when we do all the animations for all this. So we'll head down to the next section right here. And I'm just going to click in here. And then for this area right here, you can just put stuff in if you'd like. I'm going to leave that just as is for now. Or you can erase this stuff if you'd like. I'm going to erase this. Click in here. Right click on the pencil. And then delete that. And I'm going to change this image right here. So click on the pencil. And you want to delete. And down here, same thing. Now these images are pretty big. Ideally you wanna have them around 2000 by 1200. This is 6000 by 4000. So something to be aware of. You can edit these with preview or there's other tools online. So let's go ahead and insert media. Looking good. And then let's edit this last image. Okay, and this one has an overlay on it, remember? So let me show you how to change that just in case you want. So we're, you just click on background and overlay, and this is set to 0 0.9. Bring it up a little bit more, leave it at 0.7. And you can also change the overlay color by going to color, and then selecting this and selecting any one of these. And that'll change the color. So now what we're gonna do is just go ahead and add the animations, change the color here, and just polish it up. So let's go to this one, click on style, color. I keep doing that. Okay, here we go. Change the button. And we're going to add the contact us page here in a minute. Style. That's it. Animations. So click on the six dots up here. Let's go to advanced. Motion effects. We're going to do fade in, slow. This one, advanced, motion effects. Yeah, we can add it here too, why not?
Yeah, I'm sorry if I'm going kind of fast, but it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. And that's it. We are done with the About page. So let's go ahead and update, and then preview. Okay, so we're finished with the About Us page. Now let's head to the Contact Us page. So head back and click on Dashboard, and then head down to Pages, All Pages, and then go to Contact, and then click Edit, and then you want to select Edit with Elementor. Then go ahead and select Envato, then head down to number three, we're just going to select just a real simple contact us page. Just make it real clean. So click on tattoo and head to, yeah, let's do this one, contact two. And then import template. We'll close this out. Click on the file here, my templates, and then contact two, and then just insert. Now this is just one section, so it's going to be really easy. So let's change the main image. Select that. Go to Style. I don't even think this has an image, actually. Let's go and ahead and upload a file. Select Files. 2019 in Contact. I just picked something kind of inspiring for this one. Just some mountains. I'm going to put a little overlay on it, make it look kind of hidden in the background a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and insert media. And as you can see, it's just showing one piece of this image. So we're going to change that by heading down here to size and select cover. There. And now we want to change the attachment to fixed. Now we're going to change the background overlay. So go down to Background Overlay, select that. Then right here, you want to select the background type, which is Normal, Classic. So select that. Then you want the color, select this. Go with Black. Nice. And then you can head down here, and you can adjust it if you want. Let's go with five. Now we're going to remove the button here because we're going to add a contact form. So right click on the pencil and just delete. And then of course down here you have your social and you can move these around. Same thing as last time. You click on them, you pop in your link and you're good to go with the social. Now I'm going to change the color of these to style Pop in our orange. Head back up here to contact us. Style. And now I'm going to add some animations. Very top. Advanced. Fade in. Let's go with slow. And then the contact us, it's advanced motion effects. Slide in down, slow, perfect. And let's edit this little area right here, of course. And you can put your address in here too. And we're about done. Now I want to remove this map. So right click this and we're going to put a contact form in here. So right click this and then just delete. And then I want you to click the plus right here. And then we're going to scroll down and we're going to add in a short code. And you're going to see how this works in a minute. So drag that right over there. And then we're going to paste our shortcode in right here. 
So let's update the page for now because we got to create a contact form. And we're just going to paste the short code of the contact form right in here. So let's just leave this page open. And if you have another page, you can head back. If not, just head back to your dashboard. Exit to dashboard. And then head to WP Forms. And then add new. And then select simple contact form. And I would just recommend for now, just to not overcomplicate this, just to use this simple contact form. And I'm gonna talk more about this here in a second. But just go ahead and leave all this for now and go ahead and click save and then click embed. And then all you gotta do is just copy this short code, close this out, it's that simple, go back to your other page here and then just click back in that box and then paste in your short code. And it's gonna look different than this. And then actually I'm gonna head back here real quick and I wanna change the submit button. So let's go to general, change the button, we'll just put get started to keep it congruent. And this button's gonna be blue. Unfortunately, this is free and if you wanna get more advanced with this specific plugin, of course you have to upgrade it to get more functionality and pay for it. So we're limited with the blue for now, but that's okay. And update and then preview page. Okay, so now we're all set up with our contact form, but let me tell you something. This little contact form by itself is not gonna do anything. And this is something that's very important that you need to be made aware of because once you start getting new website visitors, you need a way to communicate with them. And really the only way that you can get subscribers and continue the conversation is through email. I mean, think about it. How many times have you gone to a website and just never returned? And that will be the case for your website if you're not getting people on an email list. So let me show you what I mean. If we head back to the form we just created, right? And if you go to marketing, take a look at this. These are all email service providers. And in the past, I've recommended MailChimp. They're great. So if we click on this, oh, guess what? You have to upgrade. Let me see how much it is. So you get the idea, it gets kind of costly. Now what WP Forms really is, it kind of acts as a middleman. It needs to be connected to an email service provider. And to do that, you have to upgrade and pay for it. And they know that. This is really the goal of this plugin is to sign up for their upgraded service so you can get more advanced features, which is connecting with email service providers. And we can completely eliminate the middleman and go straight to the source, which is a service I recommend and is geared towards online content creators. And it's called ConvertKit, an email marketing service. And here we can create a form in one minute, add it to your website. So when anybody puts in their email address, it will go straight into that service and you can begin to start email marketing and sending and receiving emails. No middleman. Now, ConvertKit is the ideal service to start email marketing with them. What I love about them is that their platform is specifically set up, like I said, for online content creators. So if you're looking to grow your website, blog, online business, now this is for you. And it, I've previously recommended, like I said, MailChimp because it's a great service. But for folks just starting out, it can be overwhelming and complicated with just a steep learning curve. And the automations and email marketing tools that you need to grow your website are just simple to set up and on point with ConvertKit. So let me show you how brain dead simple this is and let's get a little form created. So go ahead and click the link right below this video in the description and head over to ConvertKit with me and just follow along. So let's go ahead and click try it for free. I'm brand new. Do you have a website? Yes. WordPress. Put in a good email address here. Get started. Just watch how simple this is. So go over here, create a form, click form right here, inline, this one. Let's name the form up here. Just put, it's gonna name this new website. Then head over here, click in the button. We wanna change this to get started. Click back in the button. Let's change the color. Perfect, and we're done. We'll save it. 
click embed, grab the HTML, copy this HTML, head back to our form, right click on the pencil, I want you to delete the form. Now click the plus button, head down, grab the HTML, pop it right in there, and then just paste your HTML in here, and you'll have your new form. That's it, and then update. And as a bonus, it all matches. Everyone's happy. So click preview, perfect. Now you can effectively start email marketing when you're ready for this. Now you have two ways. You can pick the other way that I showed you, or this way. Whatever serves you best right now. Okay, awesome, so we are just about done. Now we need to add a custom menu, a logo, and just a couple other things to finish off the site. So we'll head back up here and then click on Dashboard. Then head down here to Appearance and then click on Menus. And then head down here. And then just title men your menu, just main menu is fine. And then create menu. Then go ahead and tick off main right there and we wanna select about home and contact. And if you wanna select the blog, you can, if you wanna have a blog, if not, let me show you what that looks like real quick. So this is where your blog post will live, just a traditional blog. So anytime you write a new blog post, if that's what you wanna do with your website as well, you, you will see them populate here almost like a Facebook feed. So for now, I'll just leave that out and you can select that if you'd like. And then go ahead and click on Add to Menu. And we can move these around. Good to go. And then Save Menu. Okay, really pay attention here. We need to adjust several settings to make sure that our menu we just created shows at the top of our website. So this is real important. So the first thing I want you to confirm that you've done is head to Pages and then All Pages. And then for Home, select Home and then go just select Edit for your home page. And you want to make sure your home page is set to L Elementor right here. You want to make sure this is set to full width and then update that. So this is real important. Make sure it's set to Elementor full width. Then we're going to head to back to Appearance and then Customize. Then head down here to Header and select General. Then untick off header border bottom. Now if your menu is not showing up for some reason or you want to adjust this, you can go all the way over and it'll bring it down and you should see it. But in most cases it'll be right at 74. I'm going to leave it at 74. And then for style, select transparent and then head back and then for click menu then head down here and click link color and we want to select white. Nice, right? And that's it. Go ahead and publish. Now let's be sure our menu's on all the other pages. So go ahead and click contact. And all we have to do is just change. Yep, so we'll close this out for now. And then just click on edit page. And let's go back to all of our pages. And we'll start with about and just click edit. So go ahead and select Elementor Full Width, and then Update. Now we'll head back to All Pages, and then Contact. Click Edit, and select Elementor Full Width, and then Update. And we did this at the very beginning of the video, if you don't recall, but sometimes when you're adding different elements, it by default switches back to Canvas. So not a big deal, we're all set now. So you just wanna confirm. And we'll go back to the home page. And our menu should be showing on all pages now. So now let's add in a site title or logo. So head over here to customize. And then for site identity, click that. And then you can write in you know, the name of your website or business or I'm just gonna put WME, Websites Made Easy, and you can see it's kind of this like grayish color. So what I'm gonna to do to change that, if you go back and we go down to header, 
and then logo we can select this color right here and then change this to white there we go and then you can upload your logo right here so you would select your logo and you want it 164 by 45 I'm going to go ahead and select this one right here. It's our Websites Made Easy logo, for an example. And then select it. And here it is right here. And you should see it pop up right here. Here it is right here. Awesome. So we can publish. And we will close this out. Now let's just visit the site. Wow, that looks really good. Really came together. Now, just real quick, if you want to create a logo like this, you can head over here to logo, L-O-G-O-M-A-K-R.com, and they have a cool little tutorial that shows you how to get started, and you can make anything. It's really awesome. So yeah, pop over here if you don't have a logo, create a logo, and then just add your logo. So congratulations, you are now set up for success with your new website, and now it's up to you to apply this stuff. And remember, information not acted on is just useless. So it's my hope for you that you take action on this and put this to use. And I really hope you've enjoyed this process as much as I have. And be sure to celebrate this accomplishment. This is awesome. You're on a very exciting journey here, and there's so many ways to create a website that is truly unique to you.